The main point of concern in this particular video session is the cache memory mapping. Cache memory mapping means how the main memory data will get mapped onto the cache memory and it is not move, it is copy. That means the data will remain in the main memory and also its replica will get dumped onto the cache memory. So how these things can be done and what are the different uh, logic or what are the different uh, way to do it can be categorized into three different categories. So cache mapping can be of three types. So one is your direct mapping. We are going to discuss this one right now. In the next video I shall go for associative mapping. And last one I shall go for the set associative mapping. So direct mapping, associative mapping and set associative mapping. Let us concentrate on the direct mapping in this particular case. Now the thing is that for all the mapping I shall take the same example so that you can feel that in, de in different mapping how the situations are getting varied. So now let us suppose I am considering that the main memory is having 4096 number of pages. What is the page? The main memory full main memory will be divided into equi sized fragments. Equi sized that means all these fragments are having the equi size same size. So if we go on dividing this main memory then I shall get 4096 number of I shall get 4096 number of pages as I am starting from 0 so the last page number has become 4095. But if you go for the count it is 4096 number of pages are there. So each and every page has got certain number of locations. So here this location number I have considered that 16 locations per page. Okay. So that means how much memory we are having? How much memory we are having? We are having 4096 number of pages. Each page is having 16 locations. So what is this? This is 2 to the power of 2 means 4 and 2 to the power of 10 means 1026. If you go on multiplying you are getting 4096 into 2 to the power of 4 for 16. So we are getting 2 to the power of 16. So actually we are having this 16 bit address. So this memory is having 16 bit address. So now if you consider this one we are having 16 bit address out of them 12 bits will be denoting the page number and 12 bits can have combination 2 to the power of 12 that is 4096 that is page number 02 4095. And here we are having 4 bit offset and it will be denoting the page offset. So that is the 16 locations per page we have taken. You might be asking me why this, why not a single byte or single locations data is getting mapped, why page wise? Because you know that each and every program has got locality of reference. What is locality of reference? Locality of reference is that the instruction which is executing now and the next instruction which is going to get executed probability is highest that it will be in the vicinity of the previous instruction which is in execution right now. That means the next instruction which is supposed to be executed will be nearby to the current instruction which is getting executed right now. This is known as locality of reference. Right now I am talking about cache memory. I think next 10 to 12 statements whatever I shall I shall make will be on cache memory also. So in my speech there is locality of reference. So that is a locality of reference. So I am guessing that if I load 10 locations content at a time to the cache memory from the main memory then for the some period of time the program control will remain confined within that page and each and every page is of same size and in the cache memory now let me come to the cache memory I have divided this total cache memory into 102 sorry into 128 number of frames where each and every frame size each and every frame size is equal to the page size because when one page will be going it will be it will fit onto a single frame. 
So, page size is equal to frame size that is always universally true. Okay. So, how many frames are you having in the cache memory? 128 number of frames. If you start from the frame number 0, what will be the maximum frame number? Obviously, it is 127. So, 128 number of frames are there. So, if you consider in case of cache memory, in case of cache memory, so to denote the frame number, I require 7 bits because 7 bits can have your um, 128 combinations and as I told you that page size is equal to the frame size. So, we will be having 4 bits for the page, uh, page offset or the displacement. So, cache memory at this bits will be 11 and main memory at, at this bits will be 16 according to my example. It is not hard and fast that always it will be doing like this. I am taking one example so that I can go for the mapping accordingly. So, that is the way it is being done. Good. Next, so C is equal to 128, here C is equal to capital C have written. So, there is a cache memory frame number and here the capital P that is the main memory page number is 4096. Now, let me go for the direct mapping. So, in this in this training, we are discussing this direct mapping. Okay. In case of direct mapping, what will happen? How many, how many frames are there in the cache memory? How many frames? 128 number of frames. So, I shall make 128, then 128, then 128 and so on. In this way, I am dividing this main memory into 32 number of blocks. Why? Because you see, if 4096 is getting divided by 128, because 128 pages in a single block, in this way I are having 4096. What is this? It is 2 to the power of, it is 2 to the power of uh, 12. 4096 is 2 to the power of 12 and this is nothing but 2 to the power of 7. So, when the bases are equal then exponents will be subtracted in case of division. So, 2 to the power of 5 and that is 32. That means 0 to 31. 0 to 31. Now, please remember what is the name of that mapping? Direct mapping means what? From the, from the main memory page number directly I can tell you to which frame of the cache memory it is going to get loaded. So, all this, all this 32 number of, all this 32 number of pages are probable to get loaded here, all of them. But how many page can be loaded on, on a single frame? Only one. So, from which, from which block it has come that will be denoted by the respective tag number. So, which page has got loaded here? 384. 384 is having the tag number 3. So, there is a tag 3. In this particular frame, which pages can get loaded? These pages can get loaded. These pages. So, it is also 3099. It is 3100. Okay, in this way. So, now these pages are probable to get loaded here. Which page has got loaded? 129. It came from which tag? 1. Which page has got loaded? 2. Which tag? 0. Which page has got loaded? The last one. Which tag? 31. So, that is the logic of this. That is the logic of this. So, in this way, I am getting the idea. Okay. So, this is known as direct mapping where which page of the main memory is getting loaded onto the cache memory that can be decided in this particular diagram. So, this diagram is very attractive and very easy to understand that which page is going. So, now the thing is that one question might come that in case of direct mapping, which page replacement algorithm has to be used. Actually, we shall go for the page replacement algorithm later, but if you know, you can uh, get my point. Here you see there is no page, no page replacement algorithm no page replacement algorithm will be used in case of direct mapping because from the very page number I can easily get the respective frame number. So, for to which page, to which frame it is getting directed, so it is quite common. So, there is no need to perform any page replacement algorithm. Let us suppose I am having a confirm ticket, I am having a confirm ticket uh, on rail. Okay. After entering into my compartment, I am finding that all seats are occupied then which person to which person should I request to make my seat vacant, which person 
the person who is sitting in my seat number. So, that is no replacement algorithm is required. I know that I should request that person that he might have due to some mistake might have uh, set it in my in my set. So, that is why in case of direct mapping there is no page replacement algorithm because from the very page number I can easily get the frame number. So, that is the end of this particular uh, direct mapping we will be coming with the associative mapping and set associative mapping please watch the next videos the conception will get clear then you shall go for the numerical problems also. Thanks for watching this one.